my channel. Today I'm super excited for the video that I have for you. Before I get into the video, yes my hair is different, I have had hair extensions put in. If you want me to make a video about that then I will. They are nano ring extensions because I know that you're going to ask in the comments. But today what I'm going to do is show you how you can do your own DIY, acrylic, salon, long nails, whatever you want to call it, like fake nails, yourself. Uh, without using acrylic. I in the past have had acrylic nails. I've actually had them a few times. I would say I've had them put on about eight times and they last for about, depends how long you want to push it for, but I think I've had them on for about three or four weeks. The acrylic is super strong. It's super damaging for your nails. Anybody who's had acrylics knows that when you get them taken off, it kind of fucks you up a little bit. Like your nails end up really really brittle a bit like paper so today i'm going to show you how you can do a non-damaging version of those nails you can do them any shape you can do coffin nails which are really in at the moment you can do um almond shape or stiletto or you can have them as long as you want as short as you want if you want to do a natural version you can do that so this video is kind of like really customizable how I'm going to do them in this video is I'm doing kind of like a natural length. They're not super long, but they're a lot longer than my natural nails, as you will see. And I've also gone for a glitter colour on all of my nails. Again, optional on the colour, optional on the length, optional on the shape. I'm just going to show you the technique. So, let's get to the friggin' tutorial. What you are going to need is some nail ends. You can buy these in any kind of like makeup store or supermarket even. These are £2.99 from Extras, that's a UK store I think. I'm assuming in America you would go to like Sally's or maybe they have them in Walmart, I don't know because I don't live there but that's what you would need. You also need some glue, so I got Nail Magic Brush on Glue, this was £1. Then you will need a nail file, again I got this from Extras and this was, I think it was like 99 pence. You will need your nail polish that you're going to use, obviously the glitter that I'm using before I forget to mention it is Kiko, colour glitter, uh, does it say what colour it is on here? No, doesn't say. Uh, I'll try and find it and link it down below. Then I also used this um, Maybelline Colour Show 60 Seconds in 150 Mauve Kiss. Underneath that, that is optional if you're going to apply glitter. I always like to put on a colour underneath it, but you don't have to do that. And you'll also need, very important, is a either a top coat or a bottom coat. So, the first thing that you're going to do is take the nail tips, I think they're called, not ends, and you just want to line those up on your finger. There's a lot in the box, so you want to make sure that you're only using the ones that fit your fingers. Um, I like to line them in the row that I'm going to put them on just to make it a bit easier. And then with the glue, I'm going to apply that just to the bottom bit, the bit that's actually going to go onto your nail. You want to make sure that you get it on all the edges as well. And then just line that up to whichever finger it is and press it on you want to only apply it to the top so you're not pushing it all the way down to the bottom of your finger you're literally just placing it right on to the top that is all glued on there you're gonna trim them and you can do this by either using scissors or nail clippers i think it's a lot a lot easier to use nail clippers you can do it by just tr uh, doing two pinches on either side of the nail and then it should just kind of break in the middle and then with your nail file you want to like smooth down the edge that you've made because obviously you put a piece of plastic on your nail you want to smooth down that edge do not file down your own nail only file the plastic so that it's all flat and smooth and then i also think it helps to just put a bit of the top coat on there so you're just kind of focusing that on your natural nail and then slightly onto where the ridge is and then you're going to make your shape so depending on whatever shape you want to do if you want to do stiletto or curved then you need to use your clippers to shape that by making it shorter on the edges so they will come to a point in the middle at the top which you can then use a nail file to smooth that edge because it is a little bit harsh after you've just clipped it so you want to use a nail file to round that off and smooth it once you've smoothed your shape and filed down the plastic it should look pretty seamless you shouldn't be able to see any bumps from where your nail joins the plastic 
and that means that you are good to start painting I just wipe off all the dust and things that you filed off with a what, what the hell are they called with a face wipe or you can just wash your hands obviously but make sure they're dry before you start painting so as I said earlier I'm just gonna use a base color so that when the glitter shows through there's a bit of color there as well and then once that has dry which it dries in 60 seconds I'm gonna go over the top with my glitter this glitter is amazing I will try and find it and I will link it down below because it's so dazzling so stunning you can apply a top coat if you want but that is pretty much what it looks like look at it sparkle so I really hope you enjoyed this video and you like the nails and obviously once you've done this you can take the color off and do different colors or you can trim the length down if you fancy having them in a bit a bit shorter I have if you've seen on my Instagram been putting a lot of nail pictures on there and a lot of you have been like like how do you change your nails so often and I feel like with acrylic nails you can't really do that because when they're in one set shape and length it's really hard for you to change that unless you go back to the salon. I'm not sure exactly how long this lasts because I've never counted it but what I will do is from today I will keep them on as long as they will stay on and then in the description I will leave below how long they stayed on for because I have had these left on for a long time before but I don't remember exactly how long it was. But they're definitely, they feel strong, like you can pick things up. I feel like when you get the stick on, press on nails that you can buy at like the supermarket or whatever, I feel like if I pick up my phone, like five of my nails fall off and who's got time for that? Especially if you're going on a night out, you're picking up glasses, you're knocking your hands around, like people are drunk and annoying and like bashing you. You can't be dealing with your nails flopping off. So this is like a strong way, like they are strong. They're on there. If I tap it on here, they're not coming off like they are on my nail. But as I said, not damaging for your nail. And um, yeah, I think is that everything that I want to say about it. Oh yeah, also it's a lot cheaper. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. I would really love if you went out and gave this a go. And if you do, then please show me your results on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter, all of those are at Hannah Lee Zero, but I will link to everything down below. Um, I'm at Close Show Live tomorrow on Saturday, so if you happen to be going, I will see you there. I really loved last year, I met I met so many of you last year, like I didn't expect it, it was so nice. So if you are going, leave a comment down below and let me know that you're going to be there. And if you are there, please come and say hi, like please don't feel intimidated, like I do sometimes have a resting bitch face but honestly <laughs> it would make my entire friggin month if I even met one of you tomorrow so let's do it. If you're not subscribed to my channel already then why the hell not, let's go ahead and do that, click the button down below and I will see you next time, bye!